Namaste. We have with us today Sri M. K. Ramanujamji, fondly referred to as Sri Ramuji, from Chennai, India. Sri Ramuji is a senior disciple of His Holiness Sri Sri Murli Dhara Swamiji. He is also the chief advisor and lead trainer for Global Organization for Divinity India Trust. GOD is a registered public benefit corporation to promote divinity, transcending boundaries of race, creed, religion, gender, or region. We welcome you, Sri Ramuji. Thank you, Artiji, and it's a big pleasure, great joy to be in Dallas and to do some programs for the benefit for our brothers and sisters in Dallas. Can you please elaborate more about Global Organization for Divinity? Um, Global Organization for Divinity, or in short, we call it GOD or God, is uh, registered in uh, five countries, uh, starting from Australia, uh, Singapore, Malaysia, India, and US, and one more country is under registration. And uh, the basic uh, motto behind the various uh, outreach activities of GODR uh, from the inspiration derived uh, through our master, His Holiness Maharanyam Sri Sri Murulidra Swamiji. And uh, he gave us a very simple dictum that humanity and divinity are inseparable. So all our outreach activities have a uh, divine element and a humane element in it because they are actually inseparable. So we do a lot of workshops, we do a lot of lectures, apart from uh, doing social activities like supporting education, uh, supporting medical assistance for people not only in the US but also for rural activities in India and we also do a lot of uh, feeding of the underprivileged whenever we get a chance. That's wonderful. Could you please elaborate to us what is the mission for which you made this trip to the United States? This uh, is my third trip to the United States and I'm enjoying every bit of it and uh, the basic mission is to spread the path of uh, devotion, uh, to sort of point out to people an uh, opportunity to lead a life filled with love. And uh, the basics is very simple, it's the most practical path. It is, in my opinion, the least dogmatic path. It demands no a change in the lifestyle. It demands uh, no restrictions in the way we actually live our life now. It basically uh, works on two levels. One is the constant uh, remembrance of divinity within us uh, through the chanting of the divine names and we in particular have uh, been given the Maha Mantra which goes Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare and uh, Maha Mantra coupled with prayers can uh, usher in a lot of clarity, joy and love in our heart. So we are using Bhagavatam, Ramayanam and all the uh, text of Sanatana Dharma to show the simple path of prayers which is practical and also that which is easily followable by the current trend of where we need to balance our western demands with our eastern roots. Our Swamiji beautifully uses the allegory of a tree where he says that we need to branch out to infinity with the arms of our branches reaching out and we need to thrive in that space above yet firmly being rooted in our own tradition in our own values for which Bharat Desh is uh, famous for million are together. We are indeed fortunate to have you here in the US. What is the message from your guru that you would like to convey to our listeners and our viewers? Uh, the basic uh, message uh, Swamiji wants to convey is uh, it's a message of love, it's a message of universal acceptance and uh, two uh, devotees like us, he gave us a very simple way to approach life. He said, admire all and adopt one. You enjoy whatever comes your way, but uh, be rooted in uh, one of the paths which you chose, which is natural for you. And for us, I think the path of devotion is pretty, pretty natural, but we enjoy all traditions, we respect all traditions. And uh, a path which has been given by Guru to us is chanting Maha Mantra, which does not stop us from enjoying the treasures of all traditions. I think that is a much needed message in this day and age. When you're in, the, in India or in the US, what is the role that you play? In India, uh, Swamiji has inspired a lot of activities which can be classified into three major uh, categories. 
The first one is protection of our Vedas. So we have Veda Padashala in three places. And we have a Padashala to uh, promulgate uh, Vaishnava Agama in Tamil Nadu. And there are about 150 students studying in the Gurukula system. And they are completely taken care uh, by us, by the trust, inspired by Swamiji. And uh, we have actually, uh, we are very, we have been sort of privileged by Bhagavan's grace to create about 25 Vedic Vidwans who have completely uh, completed Sama Veda and Ajur Veda Shaka branches. And we also do a renovation and a resurrection of very ancient temples, especially sung by great Mahatmas. And uh, a trust takes care of that. It works with the government to make sure that the temples are reinstated in their earlier glory. And we also do prachara or propagation of Mahamantra in all the villages, especially in South India and in Maharashtra. And to show to the people that it is the simplest way to sort of uh, reach out to the divinity and to get our prayers answered. And the uh, fourth main thing is lectures and school programs to make children understand simple facts of life, accept failures, if at all it comes their way, and not get bogged down and use uh, the power of prayers to carry on uh, to their future. And uh, we also strongly sort of use Maha Mantra as a supplement uh, to the divine diet of people in India. So Vedic uh, protection by Veda Padashala, uh, renovation of temples, we have a trust for that. And then uh, promulgation of Maha Mantra and a simple path of prayers to make sure that the roots of Sanatana Dharma are uh, sort of strengthened. And the fourth thing is giving lectures and education programs for the students. Apart from social activities, like we have a free medical center in our ashram where about 200 uh, uh, villagers, they come regularly and get benefited by it. We have a Goshala to protect cows. And we do a lot of educational assistance to deserving underprivileged children. Uh, across uh, India. So when you go back to India, I would be most probably getting back to the sort of my joyful business of reaching out to people by my Guru's grace. That is such a wonderful service or seva that you're doing to mankind. What about your Guru has inspired you to be who you are and what you do today? Uh, my master, my Guru, uh, His Holiness Maharanyam Sri Sri Muralidra Swamiji is well known to especially people in South India because he regularly star, uh, talks in the Star TV network. He, he has uh, brought uh, in a, a very beautiful, uh, you know, he shows the greatness of Kshetras, which is holy shrines like our Pandarpur in Maharashtra or Brindavan in uh, Uttar Pradesh or our Badrachalam in uh, Andhra Pradesh or Guruvayur in Kerala or Udipi in Karnataka or uh, Sri Rangam in Tamil Nadu to show that India is one and it is bound by uh, the divine loving force of divinity. And he uh, tirelessly uh, goes village to village uh, giving a simple message of uh, divine love, prayers and uh, trying to raise and uplift the lives of many through a simple path of bhakti, path of devotion. And he had put it very simply that just chant the divine names and let Krishna or let the divinity do the work for you. So he had shown the simple path of our Sanatana Dharma, which is the chanting of the divine names, remembering the divine names for us to find prosperity in life and richness in the heart too. Even though it's a simple path, it's so easy, but takes us a long way to go. I guess so. <laughs> I know that you have traveled across many cities and states here in the U.S. What plans do you have here in Dallas for the next 10 days? Oh, in Dallas, uh, always we have had some very good programs here. And right now we are doing uh, four days of uh, Krishna Katha through uh, Bhagavatam in uh, the DFW temple in Dallas. Uh, and on Saturday, the coming Saturday, which is um, um, uh, the day. I think it's November 24th. 24th, yeah. Mm -hmm. November 24th, we are doing a workshop uh, for adults uh, using the principles of our Sanatana Dharma to sort of uh, how to thrive in life and how to find harmony in life. That would be the major theme. And that would be a four-hour workshop. And then uh, the next uh, weekend is going to be in Karyas Di Hanuman Temple in Frisco. We are going to talk about the basic dharma of Bhagavata Purana. We are going to talk about gratitude. We are going to talk about uh, finding balance in life. And we are going to talk about how uh, the divine force can affect in transformation within us. And in between, we have a lot of programs in the various temples. And the highlight is going to be a youth workshop in the next weekend, 
where we are uh, calling the teens in and we are going to discuss some very important aspects of life which uh, I think the teens could uh, really, it's worth imbibing and benefiting from it. I understand that is on December 1st. Yes, it's on December 1st. First Saturday. Yes. Okay. I know you're here in Texas visiting Dallas. Do you have any other plans of visiting other cities here? Oh, totally. I'm visiting 16 cities and I've already completed about uh, three-fourths of them. Uh, I would be moving to the East Coast, uh, to uh, California, and then back to Detroit. Uh, there is a new temple which is uh, installed in Detroit and uh, the, the management of the temple requested a seven-day Bhagavatam. I'll be doing that. And we are going to come back to Houston for a grand year-end Utsav of seven days of celebrations in the Nama Dwar, which is a unique uh, structure inspired by our master where only Maha Mantra rings all the time and where the prayers of the people who enter the shrine are answered by the power of the divine name. So we are planning to do a grand year-end uh, Utsav in Nama Dwar in Houston. So these are the plans and I will be heading back for a new year mass prayer at Velour in India, where my master is going to preside and inspire millions. I think the state of Texas is very fortunate that you're visiting the two major cities, Dallas and Houston. And Houston, as you mentioned, has the Nama Dwar, the yes. only Nama Dwar here in the United States yes. out of India. Yes. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Before we conclude, what message about Bhagavata Dharma would you like to convey to our viewers and listeners? Okay. Bhagavatam uh, shows a very simple path of uh, saying that you go on with your life holding on to the divine name in your lips and uh, with faith or without faith the divine names do work and Bhagavata Dharma is a dharma of love Bhagavata Dharma is a dharma of acceptance Bhagavata Dharma shows that we are accepted as we are by the divinity whether you call it Guru or Bhagavan or Paramatma and in that acceptance in that submitting to the divine will a transformation happens where love and joy can spring in our heart so the first and the last practical step for us to find a big transformation in life is hold on to the divine name, whether Shivanama or Ramanama or Harinama or the Mahamantra. And since it's a good opportunity that many are listening, why don't we just quickly chant Mahamantra and pray for the prosperity and for the wellness and for the joy of all the viewers uh, who have been kind enough to participate and listen to this interview here. Can we? Certainly, sure. Maybe we'll chant Mahamantra once and pray that people uh, find peace, uh, joy and prosperity because we believe that prayers can go a long way in affecting the uplift of one and all. Certainly. Sadhguru Maharaj Ki Jai Hare Rama, Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama, Rama Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Namaste and thank you. Thank you, Sri Ramuji, for bringing this excellent message of universal peace through inner transformation, through your spiritual discourse series, workshops, and mass prayers. We look forward to attending this wonderful and meaningful program that will help us in transforming to promote peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.